This is the password read for an iPhone 4. And just to demonstrate for anyone who wanted to see it in action, this will actually work on an iPhone 4 and a 4S running 5.1.1. So here we're loading up the Gecko Toolkit. I'm using a very slow computer, um, of course, running Windows 7. You must use a PC running Windows 7. It's the only way that this is going to work. So I have to be a little patient here. I'm going to time lapse in a few places because this is, like I said, a very slow computer. So once we launch, we're going to get the confirmation here that we're authorizing the toolkit to run. I know it's a little bit hard to see on this screen. Okay, so we have our dialog finally opening up here. We're going to select from the drop down the correct phone. This is the iPhone 4. Uh, when I did the 4S, I also selected iPhone 4. So we'll go ahead and click on that and hit the uh, launch button. And it's going to prompt us to select the correct IPSW, which is the 5.0.1 for an iPhone 4. In this case, obviously, you'll need to select the appropriate IPSW that you've already downloaded. If you haven't done so, please check the download link section on ForgotiPhonePassword.com. There's also a tutorial there along with links to these videos. So we're going to see a little dialog open up here. And this will take... Uh, couple seconds like I said a little bit longer on this computer because it's just really old so we're gonna go through here this is red snow we're gonna put the phone into DFU mode at this point by pressing the power button and the home button so from the powered off position hit the power button until you see the Apple then you press down on the home button now as soon as the Apple disappears you can continue holding the home button but release the power button so you can see we're going to hold the power the uh, home button here until on the bottom right hand corner of the display you should see the device detected on the computer. So keep holding that until you see a little dialog pop up there and it'll say it's searching for drivers. You can see that on the right hand bottom corner and at that point you can release the, pow uh, the home button and go ahead and just wait until the uh, follow the prompts here. Go ahead and press next and this will go ahead and launch, uh, allow Red Snow to begin the jailbreak exploit which is going to allow us to read the password. And what happened here is it took a little longer for the computer to actually detect and load the drivers for the iPhone 4 which is in DFU mode. So what I've, you can see I'm clicking back here. Uh, basically, you don't have to keep clicking back. You can just wait. If you get an error message that says that it didn't detect the device, just click OK, and then you can wait. And eventually, once the drivers load up on the computer, it will go ahead and uh, continue the process here, which you will see happening shortly once this thing finally loads up. It's a good argument for upgrading your computer. And you see that little icon on the bottom right, or the uh, dialog, little notice, whatever you want to call it. And at that point, it's going to allow Red Snow to go ahead and execute. And this will take a minute or two. So shortly here, I'm going to walk away and uh, just time lapse this thing because it, it took a very long time for this one to happen. And so now you can see that little white display. You should see that at some point during the Red Snow exploit on the actual device. You see the white, um, this little looks like a little animated happy face or something. I'm not sure what it is. And that will go away shortly. And then we'll see some things scrolling across the iPhone or iDevice screen like you see right now. And just go ahead and let that continue until at the very bottom of the screen you're going to see an OK message and when you do that we can go ahead and close up red snow and continue with the process so as you can see i'm showing here on the iphone that there's an ok down at the bottom left hand corner go ahead and keep that connected to the computer close out red snow and then you click the uh, next button on the toolkit De gecko toolkit and it will continue with this process which is a brute force password hack you can see see the scrolling on the iPhone and what it's doing it's attempting every possible combination there is starting with four zeros uh, zero 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 one and so on until it reaches nine 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 which is the longest password that you're going to ever encounter as far as time goes and once that completes you will have your password displayed in the gecko toolkit dialog